Yeah. So what happened the night before WrestleMania 17? Oh, yeah. Thanks for getting back to that. How Bubba wanted to kill me. Um, so it's a big match. Everybody's down there. And I'm usually, because I didn't do any appearances because they took me off of TV. Bubba, like Lita was taken out. Spike was taken out. I was taken out. So nobody knew we were going to be there. So we didn't have any appearances or anything. And so, so I kind of was, you know, just go work out, lay low you know, go to bed early. And I, I go to bed early a lot. So whenever I can, unless I'm on the road wrestling. So we're all asked to be at the, the, the Astrodome in Houston. And I think it was like 11, we got there, maybe 12. It's like one. And I mean, I tried to take a nap before, so I'd be awake and I'm sitting in Michael Cole's or, um, I don't think, yeah, Michael Cole was announcing at the time, JR and King and all that. But anyways, um, the seat and the announcer seat. And, and I'm just sitting there and they're comfortable, especially at one o'clock in the morning, sure. they're tired. And they're just working and this and that. And they're talking and, and uh, I'm starting to doze off. And it's, you know, you know, when you're starting to doze off, you're fighting it, but it's not working. And all of a sudden, I hear this, Rhino, and I jump, and it's Adam, right, Edge, and Bubba's glaring at me. Bubba told him, look at your boy sleeping, WrestleMania's tomorrow. Not a big deal, right? A big match. Yeah. You know? I mean, that was a big match they had. So anyways, I'm like, and now I'm like, okay, I got to get up, walk around, move around. I didn't want to interrupt the match because it's, you know. Well, you had, weren't in the match. Right, yeah. right. And I didn't want to, but you're part of the yeah. match later on. And, you know, and, and it was one of those things where you're still the new kid on the block. You don't want to, you know, you kind of want to know your role. You don't want to be overly. Then it's like, who's this kid? You don't want to fall asleep because it's like, who's this kid? You know? So I got up, started walking around. And then that, that, that spear spot. Edge, Edge and Jeff Hardy. They're just kind of going over this, and and you know, and and he can't jump that far. And you're, I mean, you're 18 feet. I think those were 18 foot ladders or something crazy. And I'm just like, I've got the answer, but I don't want to say anything because I got heat with Bubba, and we knew each other in ECW, and and he knew I wasn't a jerk or anything. So that's why I think he let it slide, and he didn't actually kill me. So I'm just like kind of like wanting to raise my hand going, Oh, I know the answer. I know the answer, you know? And I'm like, you got to get them swinging. You know, that's the whole key to that. So you got to get them close enough. Everything else is on, on you. And so anyways, I go, why don't you just pick up the ladder? Cause you don't see edge up there. And Bubba, if you're trying to get the ladder out from underneath them, you know, so, so then that all happened. And, so I redeem myself, Bubba. So and a legendary spot. Oh, it's legendary. That's probably the greatest spear ever. Although yeah, I, I spear or gore. Oh, I always tell people. I go, nobody's ever kicked out of the gore. And then they, you see them think they're like, well, so and so kicked. And then they're like, where is he going with this? You know, where's Rhino going with this? And I go, if they've ever kicked out, it was a spear I hit him with. 